All right, boys and girls, it's day four of a sheep hunt. I'm in pain. Let's get you caught up to speed. So I'm on day four of the sheep hunt. Day one was pretty intense. It involved hiking straight up a chute. It was anywhere between 30 to 45 degrees. We had rocks falling down. I think these things are trying to kill us. What was that? <laughs> we only planned for that to be a day hike. Following day, Friday, was going to be an absolute mess. It was supposed to rain a lot, the winds were supposed to be nuts, but after Friday it was supposed to mellow out. Fast forward to uh, yesterday. Getting it. It's right around 10.30. We put in a decent jaunt right over here somewhere, probably there, is the mountain range that we are targeting. At least there's water. It's been my number one concern, water. I'm gonna rest legs for another 10 minutes and then keep on keeping on. This is intense. I know now why people refer to it as sheep shape. We are bordering sheep shape. I am in, currently in NFL couch watching shape. Little by little, baby steps. That's all you can ask for, right? All right. A little bit of blueberries left over. Ooh, man, delicious. Ended up getting to the spot that we're now camped at, probably around 3.34. It was blowing wind to the point where it was pushing the tent over. It was not a fun situation. We had to dig out a lot of dirt and ground to make a somewhat flat level surface to pitch this tent on. Landed. This morning we woke up to a ton of ewes and lambs. Well, we did it. Night one in the books. When we got up here, it was absolute chaos. It was windy, windy, windy. Uh, I thought we were gonna lose the tent. We would have tried to record some of this, but we had to dig out a trench just to find a semi-flat spot to camp. Above us is like a big rocky knoll and it was kind of acting like a windbreaker, but there was no flat spot, so we had to make a flat spot. But right outside our door, is about 13 sheep. Two, probably three-year-old rams that I'm going back and forth on whether I should have shot or not. This isn't any ram tag. I'm not out here looking for horns. I'm not out here looking for likes. I'm out here trying to get some meat. These guys passed us at about 80 yards. I'm kind of kicking myself for probably not doing what I should have done and getting meat in the freezer. It's only day four. We got six more days. We're going to see if we can stick it out one more day. Possibly try to locate another band of sheep. For now, it's getting windy again. Sun's behind the mountain. I think it's time to hunker down and start reading a book. Once again, shout out here to Zip Kombucha. Gave me couple couple for the road or the hike blueberry mary seems to uh, be fitting since she's hiking the stuff's amazing and they just came out with alcoholic kind this hunt continues this way i might wish i had switched to that instead of what i got now because it's cold there's no sheep 
we are a long way from the truck. So it is the morning of day three hunting this area and it is way colder than the morning of day two. The band of sheep that we let walk by us yesterday is about two valleys over right now. Small valleys, nothing crazy. Unfortunately, they are now in an area that you cannot hunt. After consulting with multiple people who told us we were idiots for not shooting those small rams. I mean, it wasn't like four out of five dentists to recommend this. It was unanimous, we're stupid. We have uh, decided to just sit here and pray that these things are coming back through this valley so that they can get water from a lake that's down below us. Where they stayed last night, there's no water. I creeped over here just a second ago. They were bedded down and uh, one was up and moving this way, so that's promising. It's amazing just how quiet this place is. You forget what quiet is until you're actually in it. And it's, it's something to, uh, something to cherish, that's for sure. All right, it's about two o'clock and it is amazing. Like I can't get over this scenery and something that I really can't get over is way way over there that little dot that's where we've been sleeping the last two days nights two nights in this whole vast area it's pretty spectacular so we just got done coming up and over the mountaintop just to our right into another valley i'm not sure if i'm glad that we did it or not. I have been sitting here for probably 20 minutes trying to turn rocks into rams. It's pushing 3.30, so it's pretty late. Even if we were to find something, we'd probably have to come back tomorrow. Way, way over on that mountain, for whatever reason, I know you can't see it because of the GoPro, there's at least 40 animals. And I can't for the life of me figure out what it is about that mountain. It is so sheep special because everything around us looks like prime time country. We're finding trails, we're finding poop, we're finding, I mean, even hair, like where they've rubbed up on rocks. But we just can't get into these animals. And I can't get over this view. It's absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to say that every time. Our ptarmigan feet from our tent. So as you heard, we woke up to some ptarmigan right next to the tent, which was fantastic. I will probably be tracking those things down later to make some sort of ptarmigan delight. But as for now, we are waiting out a band of probably 30 animals heading this way, hoping that this is the day that maybe they come back and crest over into the valley that they were originally in. Tons of ewes and lambs, but I think there might be two rams in there. As you can see, we are actively accumulating snow, which I love. This is a whole other world up here. And what makes it so weird is you can look down and see Palmer from this valley. So you can see people living their everyday life. And we're way up in this mountain. We're just going to sit, wait this out. These sheep are moving right towards us, which is perfect. We just have to have them cross an invisible line, essentially, into where our zone is legal. Right now, they're not in it. Oh. Some ptarmigan are flying up the valley. Tasty little critters. We also spotted a monster black bear way down that way. This is going to be a lot to pack out. For whatever reason, coming up here, I didn't feel a sheep vibe. I felt a black bear vibe. So we'll see where that takes us. Everybody raves about berry bears, and I'd love to try. I'm going to get the hands warm. I'm just going to sit and watch. All right, so we're kind of in a lull at the moment. All those sheep that we've been focusing on 
we can't find a definitive ram. So, I left old Lando back there to hang tight, figure out a plan. And I'm slowly making my way over to uh, three ptarmigan that have been mocking me for about an hour now. I figure while he does that, I can get some lunch. They're not too far away. And if you know anything about ptarmigan, they're not gonna break the world speed record for any animal. And they're pretty dumb. So I'm just gonna inch on over here and see if uh, I can't get one or two of them. Make a nice little ptarmigan stoop. I told you they were dumb. I might be kind of dumb too. Man, that's a lot of work for a little bird. Incredibly fun, and that was not how I saw it playing out at all. What I tell you about them being dumb? Not much ahead of the dodo bird. I myself didn't take a great shot, clearly. I think between the flu flu and the erratic tip of uh, that arrow, it had it off just by a hair. I watched it brush the back of that first one I shot at, and I thought it was over, and clearly it wasn't. I'm gonna strap this thing down, do the long pack, back to the tent with half a pound, and uh, dress this thing out, and get it ready for some yummy nummy din din. Back from the hike, and uh, I was gonna go down to a creek that's down that way, that we've been getting our water from and dress this bird out, but we've had uh, breaking news. As I was walking to the creek on the Sheep Highway, right over there, two rams popped their little heads over with a, with a U, and they are moving this way quickly. I'm gonna 
make fast work of this bird. The quickest way I know how to field dress one of these things is you take and step on either side of the wings, grab the feet, and pull up. And by doing so, the breast and the legs come out and everything else is left behind. That way the meat can kind of cool down and uh, we can make a game plan on how we're going to attack these sheep because they are fair game. We only had to wait in snow and clouds for one, two, three days. It's actually not been that bad. It's been, been pretty nice. And I got lunch. What's going to turn into dinner? Things moved aggressively. Got the bird cleaned and Landon is actively down there going after not two, but three rams. I was off on that. Obviously they're not huge if I thought one was a U, but this is an any ram tag. And like I said before, I'm not going for likes. I'm not going for horns. I'm going for cheddar cheese jalapeno dogs. That's my win right now. I'm hoping Landon gets one, but I'm also kind of banking against him that he's going to flush those things right up the side of this mountain. Either way, this is the most action we've seen for Rams since we let those two skirt by at 87 yards, which I still am having nightmares about. All right, I'm going to shut up. We're going to make this happen. That's what we're looking for. Well, I got up to within 32 yards of one. The general consensus was it was three rams. And I ranged it in the range finder. It didn't look right. So I binoed it and come to find out the one that gives me the opportunity is a U. But Landon just poked one off the side of a cliff, so uh, tonight's going to be a long night. Hopefully it doesn't rain. All right, here we are. Back at this place, and uh, Landon's sheep is somewhere down there. I went to go get my pack, and he's not around, which means he must have already started making the trek down, hopefully. Well, he's down there, so that's good. I'm just gonna baby step this. I can see the tent and I am smoked. We packed out the hind quarters and front quarters, heading back tomorrow for the rest. But how about that sunset? This place is, you guessed it. Amazing. I need water. So it's a uh, day whatever. I don't know. I've lost count. It's the last day. I know that much. And uh, there's a lot of things rattling through my head. This has been quite the adventure. I'm still blown away after a week just looking down at Palmer down there in this whole view. I would catch myself just walking and every 15 feet looking up and being like, holy crap, look at that view. Oh my goodness, look at that view. I feel extremely blessed to have had this opportunity. We would have never even come out of here with an animal. This is by far one of the coolest hunts I've done. This is the first actual hunt that didn't involve me taking a motorized vehicle anywhere. Everything was done by my legs. The only thing that drove us somewhere was the truck to the parking lot, four and a half miles over that ridge. We just got done packing out the last bit of the sheep. We're going to break down our, what was home for the last five days. We got about five more hours of daylight, I would say. We're gonna be doing a little bit of celebrating thanks to Zip Kombucha. They uh, just unveiled one of their boozy booches. It's called Black Label Booch, fiery morning. I got this thing about two weeks ago and I've been waiting for this moment to try it. I'm extremely excited. Thanks again, Zip. Guys, if you like a little bit of bubbly in your booch, 
go check them out. If you don't like bubbly in your booch, check them out anyways, because they are a local company that makes absolutely outstanding product. Great tasting kombucha. If you can't tell, it's getting windy, but we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna break down camp pack out of here we got about another four and a half miles thank goodness it's about 97 percent downhill if all goes well i'll be sleeping in my bed tonight thank you to the animal thank you to this land thank you to my awesome family for supporting me while i went out and did this uh, thank you to zip for supplying us with a little bit of drink having pretty much only water all week this hits the spot wow all right i gotta pack go get you some all right that's a wrap we'll see you on the next adventure it's windy